we write back, still on tell unscripted. Women bully on social media. But then before we get into that, Lillian, I have something that has been disturbing me for a very, very long time. Do you have any beef with Zako Pondo at personal level? Zako Pondo and Professor Maxwell Uchimodongo. Uh -huh. uh, like, okay, uh, let me just say, uh, somebody like Zako Pondo mm -hmm. has been my friend on Facebook before, mm -hmm. sent to Maxwell Odongo. Mm -hmm. Both have been my friends on Facebook. And um, I was friends with Maxwell Odongo on social media. I've never met him. I don't know him. Up to date? I've never met him. Oh, wow. I only know Zako Pondo because I've met him in on these forever shows mm. for musicians. Mm -hmm. yes. So somebody like Maxwell mm -hmm. was my friend before his other Facebook account was closed. Mm -hmm. So I remember me and him, the only time we clashed was when um, he was bullying his baby mama, the first baby mama, yes. Sophie. Mm -hmm. So I told you, know, I'm one person who will tell you off. Yes. When you write something that is not certain, especially if you're bullying somebody, I will tell you off. Mm -hmm. So I, to I told him off, and I told him, no, this is very wrong. Mm -hmm. That's when he blocked me. Mm -hmm. And before, he was in my inbox, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think uh, the fact that I never gave him the audience, yeah, oh, on, yes. on my inbox, mm -hmm. he was a little bit not okay with it, not cool. Yes. So that is how he took it personal. Mm -hmm and started bullying me. No. I've never offended him. The only thing I did was to tell him off mm -hmm. to stop bullying Sophie. That was, I think it was 2016, 2017, yes. if I can remember. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing that happened between me and Maxwell. I've nothing never met him. much, nothing more. No. You've never met I've never Maxwell met him. Maxwell so when he started, when he started um, bullying me, that was somebody like Zanko Pondo too. Like I told you, I always tell somebody off, yes. regardless of who you are. So he was he was bullying uh, uh, the baby mama, uh, Dolly. Yes. The first time, forget about the recent one, mm -hmm. the first time. And I told him, no, this is wrong. This is very wrong. This is not this, the way to, 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 to handle your baby mama, you know, mm -hmm. it is very wrong. Mm -hmm. So, so it's like they were, they were just waiting for a, a, a very good time to, 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 to drag me down, yeah? Mm -hmm. So when I told him off, he didn't, he didn't he, I think he, at some point he unfriended me, then again he resent So, so Eddie, uh, just before you continue, mm -hmm. when you tell them off, mm -hmm. do you first get slide into their inbox, talk to them at personal level, or just on the comment section? Just on the comment section. Wow. This is, these are people you cannot talk to. Yes, inside I, their inboxes, uh -huh. they'll expose everything that you're saying. Mm -hmm. So the best place just to tell them off mm -hmm. is on their walls. Now we are the public reads. Yes, so that yes. So I told I told Zach when he was bullying Dolly. Mm -hmm. Same thing to Maxwell. Mm -hmm. So I think they come on comment in gorgeous and they were really waiting for how to unleash and attack me. Mm -hmm. So they let it slide, Kidogo. Then uh, I, I remember Zach posting mm -hmm. about those people who dated guys to build South Nyanza, yeah? mm -hmm. and I remember dating one. And I gave my story just on the comment section, just it's on a lighter note, mm -hmm. you know. So he again put, uh, he again put. Actually, he came to my inbox and told me, Lillian, I want to put a post about you. I don't mind." So I saw, actually, I saw the inbox late mm -hmm. after he had put a post about me. Mm -hmm. So the post was on a lighter note mm -hmm. when he was saying that Ah, Lillian has dated a South Nyanza, you know. Mm -hmm. So people are there commenting, and I wonder, okay, why, why, why all of a sudden friend requests? The friend requests were coming fast and the, 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 the traffic yeah. was too high. So when I checked on his wall, there was my photo. Actually, he used my photo, mm -hmm. and then he, he, he captioned, "Ah, Lillian has dated the, 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 the South Nyanza even better." You know those funny, funny things that he likes using. Mm -hmm. And you know, guys were commenting. Did, did you take it positively now that he made it so public on his? No, I, I, actually, I laughed about it. No. Yes, I actually I laughed about it because I I, I didn't take it serious because first he came to my inbox, mm -hmm. of which my inbox I saw it much later after mm -hmm. I've seen the post. Mm -hmm. So I told him, ah, it's okay. So now when professor came to that specific post, mm -hmm. he picked on me, mm -hmm. and he started saying. And when he picked on me, he went and posted another different post about me. Mm -hmm. At, you know, this lady, um, 
uh, really talks bad about the Nyanza, no wonder she was beaten, you know. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, okay. And Zap told him, pull this post. This post I did in regards to Lilia, it was on a lighter note. Mm -hmm. I even asked for per per permission mm -hmm. before posting. So why are you need? So he really told Nani to pull up, down that post. Mm -hmm. So Kumbe Nani was just bring something for me, you know. Mm -hmm. So Simply because you denied him access, access to your audience. Yes. Mm -hmm. When he came to my inbox, even through his number, I never bothered. Because I'd already know how, I'd already known how he operates. He's that person when you talk to him via inbo inbox, he's going to come and put it there. Everyone will see, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, when he gave him, he, 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 he left his number. That was the, the first account that was closed, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I did not bother much to talk to him now. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that aside, so uh, so the beef started when now I posted about mm -hmm. um, the men who were. There are some men who are in a women's group. Yes. Apparently, the two are part of the group. That is where the beef came. Now, uh, that is where everything blew up. Mm -hmm. So when I posted that, somebody screenshot my post mm -hmm. and another person comment when I said that. Ah, when men who go to women's group, I go to come our mama, new yes. mama. So somebody acquired to acquired me a screenshot. Mm -hmm. So eh hey, by four pm one one more kuni Lily and to take a quick scandal mm -hmm. and I told them so what was the scandal all about what did you do because I I said that to your mama apparently I didn't even know they were in that group me I just called out all the men because I could see my friends men mm -hmm. are in this African group it was a new group yes. but uh, started by Cherian Chebet mm -hmm. so all the men were there and apparently they are low men and I was ashamed I'm wondering what are men doing in a woman's group you know yes. so when I posted. Apparently it happened that Professor and, and Azak were there. Mm -hmm. And Niao too will react. No man reacted. So they were you see Kundoka say, Oh, to talk more scandal. Mm -hmm. You bought what and I told them, bring it on. I even called Zach. When I called him, because I think he got my number through my cousin, mm -hmm. he screenshot my number and he posted. Ah, you Lilia Nana Pigia Simu. So I was training for one week. Mm -hmm. Post after post. How did you feel all through? Did, did it weigh you down or you gave it a cold shoulder and said, ah, uh, this guy is, you know, come on. You know, one thing with the uh, cyberbullying, it is not about what that person posts. It is about those people who are commenting. Yes. And what really pained me is I will see my friends mm -hmm. who are pretending to be my friends mm -hmm. commenting laughing and even you know cheering mm -hmm. that is what weighed me down not whatever because everything they posted were lies you know this brings me to mm -hmm. our topic of today mm -hmm. cyber bullying on women mm -hmm. in most cases you find that a woman is being is being bullied mm -hmm. and it's her fellow women yeah. Who rush into catalyzing everything and making that woman feel so bad? Can you tell us something about women cyberbullying on social media platforms? <laughs> I, women, I can say women, we are our own enemies. We are our biggest enemies. I mean, we pretend so much because anytime, I've always said that anytime those two bully women, 99% who are cheering, insulting and laughing there are women mm -hmm. and it's so sad that some of them who are laughing there i don't want to talk about the, the, the strangers maybe the strangers don't know me mm -hmm. but it will be so sad to see your friends who know you mm -hmm. laughing and i always tell people that anytime you're bullied don't even go to the, to the comment section mm -hmm. the comment section at least some that one person is brave to come out and speak what do you think? Look at this. Those people are cheering. The, the laughing emoji is in between mm -hmm. on the post mm -hmm. and on the comment section. Mm -hmm. Your friends are there. Now, what do you think brings about the cyberbullying on women? Do um, you think we women too, we have a, a problem or how does it come about? Like, really? I think we have a problem. We, 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 we don't love each other. Mm -hmm. uh, it also comes with bitterness. Mm -hmm. So, so and so is doing well than me. So anytime she's being bullied, I'll be there to cheer. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at those people who are cheering, you don't have any any, any beef with them. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you have the you have a beef with the, the bullies, mm -hmm. but those who are cheering, insulting you, does not even know you well. Mm -hmm. You do not even have anything against them. You've never offended them, but they'll be there cheering. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
And how do I put this? In most of the cases when a woman is bullied on social media, mm -hmm. um, trust you me, you are always on the front line mm -hmm. to defend yeah. these women. Mm -hmm. Until you find yourself now at the center of this bullying, mm -hmm. and now everything turns now on you. Yes. Why, why would you decide to take up someone's bullet? You defend so much. Yeah. Why would you go that extra mile? Uh, what I can say is that uh, I've been there and I know how it feels. Being bullied, like, I've been bullied. This is not the first time I've been bullied by this too. I've been bullied and um, uh, the last time I remember being bullied, I think it was in 2017, 2018, when now I'd, I'd, I was in this relationship. And um, now the excess ganged up and, you know, took me to Kilimani Moms and I was bullied. So it is not a new thing. Actually, that one was preparing me for Akinazak. So Akinazak's bullying was no big deal. It was, it was nothing. It was nothing. It was actually, a passing win. Yes. What actually made, a win that it passed. Yes. Actually, what made it look at, weigh me down is the people that were, mm -hmm. I mean, the friends that were getting involved, those who were cheering and, 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 and insulting me there. Other than that, the things that they said were not true. So I did not take it like personal, so personal. you know, because, so, um, you asked me a question about uh, why I defend people so much, yeah? yes? I defend because I've been there. I know how it feels, you know? I know how it feels and I don't like bullying. I hate bullies with my, my whole my heart. I mean, I don't understand how somebody would just wake up, fabricate things and start, you know, trending it, trending it without even having enough evidence that it is true. We are coming back with the last bit of this interview when we we are going to tackle about relationship that pushes women to be cyberbullied because it's all about, oh, she's been dating a lot of men, mm -hmm. a lot of men. Mm -hmm. So just keep it locked here. We are coming back with that. We want to get to know how many men then should you date as a woman so that you're not seen as a harlot. Mm -hmm. Keep it locked here on Nyako Nyango Media and my guests remain to be Liliana Cage. <laughs> Ogenya. Thank you, Ogenya. Yeah. <laughs>